Hey, beautiful family, how you doing? So we have a question right here. So, you know, my name is Mutwana, Mutwana Wabantu, Mutwana Wabantu. So if it's time, you know, let's get started. No, what's time? Let's get started to the question. Let's go to the question. Now, let's say Mr. Mangana invested. Oh, so this man invested some amount of money. But what he did, uh, he said, look, I'm playing clever right now. Because they say invested amount of 1389, but he divided into two different schemes, scheme A and scheme B. Maybe he didn't want to take a risk because sometimes you don't want to put all the money into maybe one investment. You know, you want to, oh, you know what, let me spend my money, put in this, this investment and take another money, put in another investment. But look, before we get started, if let's say you have a, uh, let's say you have a 10, 20, it could be dollar, it could be rain, it could be shillings. Now, let's say you decided to invest on, uh, okay, let me just do this quick, just a second. Let's do this in a second. Just in a second, okay. Okay, cool. I got it. Because we don't want to use a calculator for this. I don't think we need a calculator. We don't need a calculator. So I just hide the calculator. Okay, now we go. So now let's say you have a training, right? You want to invest. If you invest, if you put the money, let's say X in a face investment, meaning if my total amount is training, rand or dollar shillings, and then I put in face investment equal to X, means the other investment is gonna be 20 minus X. What does that mean? Let's say invest here 10 or invest here five dollar or rent means this meaning it has to be what I invested here is five. So what I'm left with means take what you have here minus what you have invested here means 20 minus five. That's what I mean. So now let's go back to the question. So let's say uh he invests in, in scheme A, scheme B at the simple interest rate. Oh, so pay attention. There's a compounded and a simple interest. So for this case, is com is simple. So simple interest, we have a formula for simple interest. The formula for simple interest is the amount equal to principal. Principal is the amount of money that you start a business. Principal, one plus interest rate, and then you multiply by time in the bracket. Oh, that was very dead. Let's do this. So the amount equal to principal, one plus interest rate, percent times number of years times times number of years percent number of years okay so now let's go so he said the total amount he earned is this one this amount that i earned take the money invest it to different scheme and then after three years he ended there after three years now let's go to how we can solve it it's easy so let me go uh, i got two scheme here right scheme a and scheme b in here we have a total so we're going to say now scheme a because we don't know how much invest in A, so we're going to say A is going to be X. Because principal means X. How much you invest in, we're not sure. So our total is, but uh, let's assume we don't know for A. So let's do this for A. So for principal, we don't know. We call it X for this case. 1 is just a 1. Plus, plus. What is the interest for A? Rate for A. Interest rate for A, 14%. So I can say 14%. You can say 14%. If you don't want, you can say 14 over 100. 8 of the 2. Multiply for how long? Time is equal to n. n equal to 3. We plus now for investment or investment B. So investment B will play the same game. So now if I invested X in the first one, I mean the second one is going to be take total amount minus X. So principal for investment B means it's going to be, let me say, 1389, 1 minus X. And then this is 9. Okay, should I write again? I think you can see. Okay. And then bracket, and they say 1. So that was the principle for the second scheme. Because like I say, if you invested X on the first one, the second one is going to be total amount minus what you invested on the first one. Now, plus, plus. Interest rate for the second one equal to 11%. So 11%. Either you can write like that, or you can say over 100 and they will multiply for how long? Three years. But the total, look, this is the interest you end. Look, let me let me explain. So look, if you have a 20 or 50 and you invest, and they say you earn interest of 10, so the total amount is going to be equal to 60. This is something that you have end from what you have invested, which is 50. So now we're going to say for this case, 
if this man here, Mr. Mangena, and the interest of this one right here. So the total amount which you represent by A, take what you invested plus what you have earned to get the total amount. So the total amount is going to be, let's add these two together, miss. Add this and that together. When you add them together, means you add 13890 plus 5504, that's going to give you a 19, 19, 193983, So what we're going to do now is the amount of expansion. So plug this in the calculator, plug in the calculator. When you plug all of this in the calculator, it's going to give you 1.42. So x, all this is going to give us 1.42. But we have x. x times 142 is going to give us uh 142.42 x and then we plus we see our bracket here which is one three eight ninety man i cannot write that nine like that was very well man okay it's fine i think you can see let me use another color because it seems like i'm struggling to write nine okay zero minus x okay let's plug this in the calculator when you plug this in the calculator it's going to give 1.33 1.33 excuse me sorry 1.33 and then and we're gonna have a 19398 so then what we can do we can simply simplify it okay simplify so miss multiply that i'll multiply this out by saying multiply by the first one and then multiply by the second one okay so 1.1 if you multiply this let's go okay this is gonna be 1.42 x 1.42x in the word plus, okay, 13890 multiplied by 1.33. That's going to give us 184, 1873.7. Okay, now take that, multiply by x, going to be minus 1.33 x equal to 1.9. 398. So what we're gonna do, we can take like 10 means 1.43 minus 1.43, and then we means take this one right here, minus 1.33. That's gonna give us 0 0.09 x equal look. So this is a number here. Can't you see this a number? So we can take over to the other one. So we're gonna say equal to take one nine. 398 minus minus by 184 184 73.7 and that's going to give us that's going to give us so if you minus the two it's going to give us a uh, 10 plug in the calculator quick it's going to give us 10 27 0 10 27 so let's minus it's going to give us 10 27 0 so this is going to give us 10, 27, 0. So divided by 0 0.9, divided by 0 0.9. If you divide by 0 0.9 throughout, the value of x is going to be equal to 3620. So what you can do here is divide by 0 0.9 throughout. So divided by 0 0.9 on the left and right. Then the value of x is going to be equal to uh, 10, 27, 0. Oh, we got it. Man. My apologies, I was wrong here, I was wrong here, I was wrong, my apologies, sorry. If you take this one over, and then subtract, it's going to give you 9 to 4. 9 to 4, 0.3. And then divided by 0 0.9 throughout, means on left and, and right, is divided by 0 0.9 here, and divided by 0 0.9 there. And then the value of x you want to give is going to be 10, 27, 0. 10, 27, 0. My apologies. But I hope you understand how it came about. So now that's the value of x. 10 to the 7, 0. So we don't need this again. 10 to the 7, 0. Okay, so we get the value of x. x. 10 to the 7, 0. Look. Now, what the value of x look? The ball of x is the amount that I watch when they said in a scheme A. But, uh, so this meaning scheme A amount, which was this. If you want to get the ball of B, okay, 
What is the investment? Investment, if you want to invest, will represent by letter P in a simple interest formula. Okay? So P for the scheme B means is this one here. Because if the first one was X, the second one was going to, it was take total amount minus what we invested in A. So the value of investment of B, P at B, principal at B, this principal at, at what? At scheme A. So principal scheme B equal to 1, 3, 1, 3, 8, 1, 3. Oh my God, sorry. 1, 3 equal to 1, 3, 8, 90 minus the value of x so this same is saying one three eight nineteen minus ten to the seven zero and that's going to give us the value of investment principle b equal to thirty six twenty but for this case here it was in range in south african money so that's the amount was invested look so now let, let, let's go to the next one let's go to the next question Look, I know some of you might be new here, right? So before you continue, just come here, please, family, and subscribe to this beautiful channel. So every time I upload a new video, you don't miss, okay? So now, uh, let's stop here because of the time, because I don't want to make this video longer. If you first time, make sure you subscribe, share the video to a lot of people, and, you know, so every time I uh, put a new video, then you can get notification. Thanks a lot for your time. Peace in the mouth. Easy, man.